If you don't have Valentine's dinner plans yet and you think, well, maybe I'll go out to eat, well, consider doing something at home. It's healthy, it's delicious, it's easy on your wallet, and we're making it easy for you today because we're showing you a full course meal containing super foods that not only taste great, but are great for your health. Joining us is Dr. Vandana Bide. She's a physician from St. Augustine. And who knew that you were a chef on the side? <laughs> no. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you for having well, me. Well, let's here talk today. about why it's important to uh, kind of do this at home in terms of showing your love for somebody. Right. Well, February, as you know, is Heart Healthy Month. So, what better day than Valentine's Day to be um, good to your sweetheart and to your heart? And a lot of these. Um, uh, foods that I'm talking about also help reduce your risk of cancer. So that's why I call them superfoods because they do more than just taste good. Okay. They provide a lot of nutrients. Well, we like to thank Whole Foods for donating all of this food today. And first up is this fabulous dish. What is right. this? Right. So that's the appetizer. It has tomatoes and feta cheese, um, rosemary, balsamic vinegar. And uh, the first thing I wanted to talk about was the rosemary because it has very interesting history. In uh, ancient Greece, it was used by scholars. They would put it um, behind their ear mm -hmm. to help them with memory, and that's what we believe that it does. Um, the tomatoes, of course, are very important because they provide lycopene, which is an antioxidant. It's very similar to vitamin A, and it decreases the risk of certain cancers, specifically prostate cancer, and there's ongoing studies to see if it reduces the risk of other cancers. Uh, we have garlic, and garlic will actually bring out the flavor of tomatoes. And the tomatoes, one point to remember, the lycopene um, is more available if it's cooked with olive oil, and that's uh -huh. why olive oil is, is added to that, and the same with the garlic. You know what we call this, though, Greek birth control. Okay. Yeah, so <laughs> right. if one is eating the garlic, the other has to be eating the garlic. Sure. So if you want some magic to happen sure. later, if you know what I mean. All and, right. And to get the heart-healthy benefits to your cholesterol and your sugar with garlic, you do have to eat it raw. And so. it's, it is good for you. It gives you kind of a rush when you sure. eat it raw, because sure. we're sure. Greek, we eat it right. raw sometimes. And the avocado, I forgot the avocado, is a mono and saturated fat so it's a good fat, good for, fat your, for, you. for your heart. Look and at this fancy dish right here. That is an acorn squash soup and um, I've added some turmeric which is that beautiful yellow spice that gives it that color. Um, I've sprinkled some dried cranberries which again is an antioxidant and is believed to be a superfood, helps reduce the risk of cancer and heart disease and I've sprinkled it with cinnamon which mm -hmm. is this right here, the bark of the cinnamon ground. Um, we are studying right now to see if it reduces the risk of diabetes and if it stabilizes sugar, which is what it's uh, believed to do. So that is that is our soup. Okay, our and main course right, here our is... Our entree here is, of course, heart-healthy salmon. Um, has lots of omega-3 fatty acids. And then we have the cruciferous uh, vegetables, cauliflower, and um, broccoli. Other uh, examples would be kale and cabbage. And those are believed to have uh, very strong anti-cancer properties that, of course, help reduce your blood pressure and uh, maintain and what, health. What have you put on these carrots here? So that is crystallized ginger. I was if right. that was what it is. Right. A little, uh, well, very sweet and right. very delicious. Right. And it's got a little, it's got a little sting to it, which um, tastes very good with the, the sweet properties as well. And ginger is believed to have anti-nausea properties. So women who are pregnant who have nausea um, during pregnancy or patients who are undergoing chemotherapy or patients um, after surgery. So crystallized ginger is a nice natural way to prevent the, the nausea. Hopefully you won't be nauseous because of the cooking that you're sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the good stuff, the dessert now. What are these? These look fantastic. These are whole grain tortillas, uh -huh. which of course is healthier. Whole grains are healthier than the processed white flour. Um, and I've used dark chocolate, which again is an, another antioxidant, the same with blueberries. And the strawberries have lycopene, as does the pink grapefruit. And those, of course, have wonderful antioxidant uh, properties, have anti-cancer effects, and help reduce blood pressure. Okay, we've got 15 seconds. Okay. What's, what are you serving for drinks here? We have green tea here, which, of course, also, we believe, reduces the risk of certain kinds of cancer, breast, prostate cancer. We have uh, pomegranate juice, which is one of the most powerful antioxidants that you can have. And then, of course, red wine. So what would Valentine's Day be? without a glass of red wine. Good for the heart. Exactly. Dr. Bide, thank you so much.
Thank you for having you're me, gonna be, uh, You're going to have a super night because you're going to have super health on your side on Valentine's Day. So we know this is a lot of information. We're going to put it on newsforjax.com later this morning. Go to the Scene on 4 tab and look on the morning show page. Thank you.